Dear friends, I'd like to welcome you all here in Brussels uh, for this 2011 Council. It's a very special Council, a particular Council. Most of you probably know uh, our President, Paul Nero Prasmussen, has decided after seven and a half years uh, as President of the Party of European Socialists to retire. And we will have an opportunity in the uh, second part of this Council to uh, pay tribute uh, to Paul's uh, work and to uh, his dedication to the President of the PES. But I'd like you already now to greet Paul and give him a big applause for all the work that he's done at the head of the PES. As I said, we'll come back and uh, I will say a few more words uh, later on. But I also want to uh, thank uh, today our Belgian member parties because we, have, uh, we meet often in Brussels in European institutions, but it's rarely that we meet uh, in Brussels together uh, with our Belgian parties. And I want to really thank uh, the two party leaders, Elio Dirupo and Bruno Tobac, but also the two Secretary Generals, Gilles Maillot, who is here, and Alain André, and our members uh, of the Presidency, Saïd El Khadawi, uh, who is here also, and uh, André Flao. Um, your help has been immense in uh, organizing this council at this very moment where Belgium is going through very, very difficult times. So thank you to all of you. <clears throat> what is happening in Belgium at the moment is very symptomatic of what is happening in Europe. The right, the Conservatives, is deprived from any sense of political responsibilities to face and confront the crisis, be they financial, economic, political, or democratic. Their only concern is to preserve the privilege of the few. The right has caused this crisis because they let greed and finance take over, and now they are making citizens pay the price for it by having a blind, austerity-only policy. The right is even jeopardizing the mere principle of democracy by stealing the power of the citizens to put it in the hands of the markets. And we, dear friends, are in the middle now of a strong ideological and political struggle, political fight, as Paul would say. And the PES and its member parties has been and will continue to be in the forefront defending a clear alternative to bring hope back to the citizens. And this is what is at stake of the three days in our convention tomorrow and after tomorrow and in our council today. We are used uh, to sometimes boring statutory councils, empty rooms here and there, yawning delegates. So we've decided to do it differently this time. We will have a strong dynamic council today to agree on our policies. And we will have two days of exchanges two days of interaction, opening up to citizens, to NGOs, to trade unions, to show the outside world that we are an open party and that we're not afraid of confrontation. We have already 2,000 participants registered. We'll have 48 workshops, films, literary cafes, plenaries with leaders, a very exciting moment. And let me take this opportunity to thank from the bottom of my heart, all the PES staff that has invested so much work in organizing these two days. You know, it has always been Paul's struggle to involve citizens in politics, to involve members in the Party of European Socialists. And I find it's such a nice image that the last council, the last convention, that Paul will be attending as PS president engages in such a way with ordinary citizens. Dear friends, in Prague in 2009 at our last Congress, 
we launched a deep renewal process to renew both our policies and our way of doing politics. This Council is a further step in this renewal direction. First of all, renewing our ideas. We will confirm our alternative way out of the crisis in our general resolution in a few moments. And first and foremost, for the first time in the PES, we will adopt a declaration of principles, our identity card as European socialists. And this is also a historic moment for this. In these times of blurred landmarks, we are reasserting what we stand for. And this will be the first step towards the fundamental program that we'll be adopting uh, in the 2013, which aims to renew our European social democracy by bringing closer national and European programs. And concerning also the renewals of our party structures to make our parties modern and attractive, we are pioneers. We've been working very hard in the framework of our network on modernizing politics to exchange ideas on how to revitalize our parties. And we will be discussing today for the first time of how we will select our common candidate for the presidency of the European Commission at the next European elections to have a clear, transparent, open process and to show that we are the party of democracy. So Paul and I have spent many, many, much time uh, in the past years uh, going around uh, your member parties to constantly bring the national and the European levels closer to each other. And I want to stress here once again that this is the only way it will work, by working together between the European and the national level, by sh showing that we're a strong, coherent political family. Look at the Conservatives. Before every European summit, they all gather. Merkel is committed to going to the EPP meetings. Sarkozy is committed to going to the EPP meetings. Berlusconi was committed. All their leaders are present. They don't have much in common apart from the austerity line, but they meet together. And we have to be even more united. We have to be coherent. We have to be constructive and cooperative at all levels. We have a great grassroots level which is showing the path, which is working very much with our PS activists. We have an excellent working relationship at also all the levels which Paul has led, and especially at our councils, in the presidency, uh, in our uh, member parties working together. We need more presence from our leaders to be able to show us and to guide uh, this uh, direction uh, of the Party of European Socialists. All issues today are European and there is no other option than working together today, tomorrow, and for many, many, many times. So, dear friends, I now officially declare this council open, and I'm sorry to bore you for another few minutes. We have a few administrative issues according to our statutes. The first one is to confirm our voting rights. We have uh, 135 potential mandates. 123 can be considered valid, as discussed in the presidency just a minute ago. S one party, SDLP Northern Ireland, is not present. Our Italian party, DS, is uh, not uh, here as such because the party is ceasing to exist, but our Democratic Party, and I'm very sort of happy to uh, welcome the Democratic Party of Italy as a privileged partner of the Party of Euro European Socialists. And uh, we have also two other parties for which uh, the presidency has deci decided to suspend the voting rights uh, for uh, financial uh, reasons. So I'd like the council to uh, approve these uh, mandates, the 123 mandates, and also ask the council to reaffirm the position of the presidency, which will be to have a very strict rule at the next Congress that parties not paying their membership fees will not be allowed to vote. This is elementary in every party, but it has also to be elementary in the Party of European Socialists. Can I get your backing on this, uh, dear friends, today? Great. Thank you very, very much. Now the second element is to adopt our Council agenda. Uh, we will be discussing three important resolutions today. You have the agenda, and we'll also uh, be talking about uh, uh, the, uh, our transitional leadership setup, and you'll be informed of the uh, decisions taken by the PS presidency. So can we adopt this agenda for today? I can see by a show of hands that yes. And so I just want to finally say that those who need an interpretation device, 
you need to raise your hands because we have uh, our staff that have some interpretation devices with them and will give them to you. There will be some speeches in French and in Dutch, uh, as Belgium is a, a Franco-Dutch-speaking uh, country, so you'll uh, hear both languages. Uh, so if you need interpretation devices, go and get them. I want to finish off by really wishing you an excellent three days here in Brussels. I hope you get the most out of it. Uh, I hope you have uh, interesting exchanges, and I look forward to uh, coming a little bit later uh, with some more news for you. But first of all, I'd like to uh, give the floor successively to uh, Gilles Mailleux, uh, Secretary General du Parti Socialiste Belge. Merci, uh, Gilles. And then to Saïd El Khadawi, who will come up just afterwards, the uh, International Secretary of our uh, Flemish-speaking uh, SPR. Thank you very much. Dear comrades, I hope there will be no language or linguistic problems between us. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you here in Brussels in French with all my heart and all the brotherhood that we have as socialists. It's a real honor, it's a real pleasure to welcome all the delegations present here today, and you're very numerous. This is a socialist ground. It's a country where the socialists won the elections, but as uh, Philippe said, where it's very difficult to set up a coalition government with the right-wing party, and we'll come back to that during our discussions. But again, I'd like to thank Poul once more Thank you, Paul. You were always uh, present, very dedicated. Thank you for your commitment, your uh, strength, and especially for your friendship and brotherhood all over the years to build the European Socialist Party that we have today. From the very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thanks on behalf of the French-speaking Socialist Party of Belgium. I would also like to wish uh, all the best to Sergei Stanichev, who's going to lead the party. Thank you very much, and you're going to uh, take advantage of our uh, full support, as well as to Rory Quinn, who's going to be the chair of the presidency. And uh, finally, I would like to thank the team, the staff of the uh, PS. You have done a great uh, job. And uh, of course, I would like to thank Philippe Cordery, the uh, Secretary General, for the quality of the papers, the quality of the work, the quality of the debates. Thank you very much for this preparation, because this is going to increase our own quality, the quality of our work. I would like to wish you a very fruitful meeting I hope it's going to be a success story. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I know translation is foreseen from Dutch into the other languages, but I propose to speak English because this will take things, uh, this will make things much easier. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to try to speak about the Belgian political context because I think we would need a separate con Congress for that. So uh, let's, uh, let's have a separate debate on that the next few days and try to give you more information about what is happening here. But let me, in the first place, on behalf of SPA and on behalf of my party leader, Bruno Tobak, uh, welcome you here in Brussels, in the heart of Europe. Welcome. Uh, each of you and wish you a very exciting and very stimulating uh, convention the next few days. Last time the PES organized a big event in Brussels, Paul was in 2004. It was a congress uh, of the PES and uh, dear friends, we took a very important decision at the time because as you might know, Paul then was elected president of the PES. And, um, 
ever since, night and day, together with uh, the staff and all his team, uh, you transformed the PES into a combative, professional, innovative, transnational party. And I think it's the only party that is able to mobilize more than 2,000 people from all over Europe to discuss in an open way about politics, about all kinds of issues that really matter to people. So this bottom-up approach you introduced, Paul, will no doubt deliver very good results, and we are thankful for that. Now, today, together we will take some important decisions that will allow us to continue on that road, to build a stronger party by agreeing on our basic principles, what you called, Philip, our identity card, which is really important that we will be the only one who's able to do that. And also on a procedure to elect our front man or front woman for the 2014 elections. And this weekend, as you know, with more than 2,000 people, we will send a strong message to Europe that there is a progressive alternative. Paul, the party you leave us, is ready to, to, to take over and now we have all together to, t to convince the European citizens and this exercise starts today and has to be continued the next few years. So enjoy the Council. Thank you for being here. Good luck.